This is Centennial Park. The one with the black Union soldier. Everybody seems to resent so much. Can't determine whether or not he should be facing the river or facing the citizenry of Lee County. These are the pillars. The pillars that had the plug-ins that were disconnected to keep the homeless people away. There's a news crew up ahead said there were 12 bodies found here. All homeless people. Those people right there, they, mm -hmm. yeah, the uh, shelter. So tell me what happened, which boat was it, and where was he trapped? It's that boat over there. The blue one. The blue one? Yeah. Way over there in the back. All these fancy boats. And a poor man smashed to bits. And his dog killed. Because this county had shelters. But these homeless people have no transportation. They had no way of getting to the shelters. Reportedly, there was a woman trying to give people rides to the shelter. And she didn't have enough room for all the people that needed help. tragic. The devastation and the loss of human life. Unnecessary loss of human life. Because of a failing government's ineptitude in dealing with type of a disaster in anticipating this type of disaster and their inability to accept help when help was clearly necessary. The reason why you have forced evacuations is to save people from their own stupidity. And this governor is all about letting people make the wrong choices, the freedom to do so, and the freedom to squelch dissent because in the end it's all about bullying people when they exercise their first amendment right and about keeping people down when they don't agree with what you have to say and how you think David had a dog I can't remember the dog's name I know it started with a C I'm better at names than Derek is when I meet people I listen to their stories and then I ask them again what their name is and I try to remember but I met a lot of homeless people and one thing he was telling me about his dog was that he used to breed dogs and this dog was a particular mix of husky and something else Alaskan husky and something else he had some he bred them in Washington State I believe and he said he had many dogs that um, ran in the Iditarod um, it was just a very unique dog, and he had a fine temperament. And I've always said, you know, dogs reflect the spirit of their masters. If they're evil fighting dogs, usually it's because they belong to some drug lord or awful person. And when they're security protective dogs, empathic dogs, um, that can communicate with people, it's usually because their owners are kind. Right next to Joe Cops, uh, Joe, Joe Cops shot. That's like, that's what I say, Joe. I believe I know who the owner of this boat is. I've just been told by someone. I believe it's damaged. Hopefully it hasn't impaled somebody. Come claim your boat. It's just a graveyard filled with luxury boats. So sad. And they're probably going to file insurance claims and get them replaced. No, this will take but they're not going to accept any of the liability involved and the damage that was done.
this in 10 years. Including the loss of human life. Here's another aftermath of the uh, hurricane. Look at that dirty water, filled with oil. We've got a biological disaster on our hands. I carried one more thing away from the trash pile of the things that the homeless people left behind, the ones who lost their lives at Centennial Park. One of them is this. This was a painting uh, being sold by a woman named Dee. I think I may have met her. Um, she lost her life and left this behind. So. Um, I hope that isn't the case, but I think it may be the case. I kept this painting, and I kept it with the mud and stuff on it. I don't plan on cleaning it up as a memory of the homeless people who lost their lives at Centennial Park. No effort was made by city, county, or state government to save these people, because in the end, they're just non-entities. They don't have a physical address. So nobody keeps up with them. And when their bodies wash ashore, they really don't know who they are. But I'm going to I'm going to remember D when I see this turtle painting. Rest in peace, dear. And if you are well, and this is your painting, I would gladly return it to you.